and good morning everyone. Uh, so today we are starting our day off with New York bagels. That's always exciting to come to New York and have their New York bagels. Um, yeah, they're very different than the ones you get from other parts of the U.S. It just has that unique taste. But yeah, um, we got a couple of bagels with some cream cheese and um, hot chocolate and hot tea. We're just waiting for our order now. Yeah, it was very crowded in that place. Um, not really a lot of places sit either, but that seems to be the trend in New York lately. Um, not a lot of places sit and a lot of outdoor seating. So I got a sesame seed bagel with strawberry cream cheese and a cup of hot tea to start off my day. Yeah, something I do notice about New York bagels is uh, they're really huge and they definitely put a lot of cream cheese in them. Yeah, I can normally only eat about half, so I'm not sure what I'll do with the other half yet. Maybe eat it later. Here's a look inside that bagel shop. We got our bagels from this morning. Even at 10 o'clock in the morning, it's still busy. Um, I really can't imagine what it must look like at 8 in the morning. After breakfast, we headed over to the bus terminal to get the bus to New Jersey. Uh, so today we will be going to the new American Dream Mall in New Jersey. Uh, we actually did try to go to this mall once before um, in 2019, but the mall was so new that all they had in there was a Nickelodeon park and like one coffee shop. Everything was under construction. There was like nothing there. Um, yeah, so also the buses only come every half an hour. So unfortunately, we just missed a bus. So we have a long way to go. Um, about another 25 minutes. All right, finally on the bus and on the way to New Jersey. I can't wait to uh, see the new American Dream Mall. Hopefully this time there will be more shops open than a couple years ago. We finally made it to the American Dream Mall. Wow, that was uh, an adventure. Um, yeah, it took us uh, about an hour. <laughs> um, we had to catch the bus for about 20 minutes and then a 20 minute walk uh, through the grass. Really uh, an adventure to get here, but we made it, yay! Yeah, it looks like part of the mall is still under construction though. So it looks like there's more to come for this mall, but at least there is a lot more shops now <laughs> compared to the last time that we were here and everything was starting to open. Definitely looks very modern, very bright, vibrant in this mall.
skating on it. But I guess it doesn't look like it's open now. see the Nickelodeon park um, from the top um, yeah it's unfortunate that you cannot uh, go inside and look without paying admission and it is quite expensive but I do hope to actually go to the Nickelodeon park someday and we are here we have a really huge it's sugar store um, so it's sugar um, is actually in uh, many places in the US um, I've been to quite a few it's sugar stores and um, I really like it's sugar because um, I do love sweets and I do love candy, but also because It's Sugar just has a giant pieces of candy inside. Like there's giant Rice Krispies and um, giant uh, Swedish fish. Um, there's a lot of unique things inside to see. Um, even if you don't buy them, it's still really cool to come inside and see all the unique things that you can only see inside It's Sugar. Um, so I always enjoy coming into the store, um, wherever it is, I just like to look around and it's a lot of fun. Like I said before, this is a huge It's Sugar store. There's a three levels to the store. On the third level, they have the Oreo Cafe, where they have Oreo-themed desserts and like Oreo milkshakes. Um, yeah, the second floor is also really cool. Um, it was great to see a bunch of sections for old candies that you don't see really anymore. Uh, things like the bazooka gum and Nerds. Uh, I, when I was growing up, I I ate a lot of that candy and also uh, we did see Jelly Belly and Marshmallow Peeps there. Yeah, I love eating all those candies as a kid and I still enjoy them, but they're definitely hard to find nowadays. Um, it's not usual to see a lot of those candies uh, in the store. So here we are at the Oreo Cafe. 
Uh, looks like they have milkshakes, sundaes, um, cheesecake, and you can also add some toppings. Uh, you get to add up to four toppings. Um, if you add things like whipped cream or a chocolate sauce, it does um, cost extra money. Uh, it is definitely very expensive, um, but it is definitely very tempting to get something as this is the first and only Oreo cafe um, in the U.S. So a visit to the Oreo Cafe is not complete without uh, getting something from the cafe, something Oreo related. Uh, so we ended up getting an Oreo milkshake. Yeah, it's um, just as you would imagine a cookies and cream milkshake to be. Um, a little pricey, but it's for the experience. So doesn't cost money to go inside, just money to ride the ride. So it's not free admission here. You have to pay $75 for ages 10 and up, and $65 for ages 3 to 9. And then if you want to skip the lines, it costs an extra $50. It is really expensive and honestly not worth the money. Um, it's a pretty small park here at Nickelodeon Universe. Um, in my opinion, it's a little too expensive to pay. Um, so yeah, we're not going in, unfortunately. Discovery Center here with its own indoor Lego playground. Pretty big Lego store. Yeah, this is pretty cool. Yeah, and earlier we just saw the Angry Birds mini golf. <laughs> that looks like it's a lot of fun. Here we found something really cool inside the American Dream Mall. It's an indoor snow park. So you can go skiing or snowboarding any time of the year, even if it's not snowing outside. Uh, the snow in here is real snow, and also the snow park comes also with the ski lift. So yeah, this is really cool. Um, if you guys like um, if you guys like skiing or snowboarding, or if you just want to see something cool, you definitely got to check this out when you come here. So there's definitely a lot more things open than the first time we came in 2019. We really enjoyed the American Dream Mall, and I hope you guys enjoyed my video. Thank you so much for watching. Join us next time as we go to Central Park and Times Square. Bye, guys.